let me state the obvious. The cloud is here to stay. Brilliant, right? Of course the cloud's here to stay. What's important about that statement is that cybersecurity in the cloud has not caught up to the reliance we have on the cloud. Let's explore how to bolster your security posture for cloud workloads. Hi, I'm Steve Murphy. I'm a vice president at ARG, and while I work for ARG, this video is my own and does not reflect the views or opinions of my employer. You've got workloads in the cloud, and just like workloads in private data centers, you need to ensure those systems and data are safe. Adding to the complexity of the issues is that you probably have environments in multiple clouds. You have your Office 365 environment, your Azure environment, maybe some AWS or Google, uh, Google Cloud Platform or a host of other public cloud options. The first order of business is to understand the shared cybersecurity responsibility model for each of your cloud service providers. Many assume that since the cloud service provider offers some security tooling, that the cloud provider is responsible for security. That's not the case. The user is responsible for most of the security, so know what those responsibilities are and design your approach accordingly for each cloud service provider. Many people assume their cloud environments are safe because they do use the security tools offered by the cloud service provider. That may be a good assumption or it may not be. The security platforms of the cloud providers are very good. The question we want to ask here is, are you good at configuring the cloud security platforms? Misconfiguration of Security services are the largest reason for cloud security breaches. Most end users of cloud platforms do not have the necessary skills to configure the cloud security platform. The misconfigurations are not always apparent. If they were easy to spot, they'd be fixed. The security platforms may appear to be tightly configured, but due to the complexity of the cloud environments, unseen gaps might exist. This complexity is due to the reality that developers, Infrastructure teams and system builders will tend to use whatever tools and systems are best suited to achieve their goals. This is a necessary uh, uh, environment to meet the speed of modern development. But because of this, most enterprises are facing additional difficulty and complexity from the many different cloud service provider systems and environments. Maintaining multiple systems across multiple cloud platforms because almost becomes almost unmanageable. I'd like to suggest having a third party review your configurations at least annually. Of course, the third party should have bona fide credentials in securing the appropriate cloud environment. After the third party re review, make sure you uh, implement any recommended changes and then do a pen test. This will give your new system, your, your new configuration, test under fire of a white hat hacker. If your cloud environment is really complex, the cloud security posture management or a CSPM solution might be appropriate. These solutions operate as an orchestration platform, allowing you to set consistent policy that is then implemented across your cloud security platforms by the CSPM. The structure is also referred to as a security mesh. I have a video providing full details on security mesh architecture. I'll include the link to that video in the notes to this video. Now, if all of this sounds super complex, and it is, don't get me wrong, an alternative is to forego the cloud service provider security platform altogether. Some companies are relying on a single third-party solution to protect their cloud environments. So a single vendor platform, let's say from Cisco, Fortinet, um, Palo Alto, or many others, installed in each of their clouds allow for the company to maintain expertise in a single system, which can create uniformity and consistency. The trade-off is cost. A concern with this third-party tooling strategy is cloud crew, where the cloud environment is extended beyond the third-party platform's configuration. To mitigate this, I'd recommend using some of the security features offered by the cloud service provider in a layered approach to augment the third-party solution. Okay, next, let's keep an accurate inventory of what's running in your clouds. The cloud platforms have made it super easy to spin up resources. Your engineers might be doing this on a regular basis to, touch, to test which platform a system might run on or to test some code or to create a sandbox or something. It's easy to lose track of what you've installed and is exposed at any time. This creates a window for vulnerabilities to creep into your environment. Third, zero trust and identity access management. A zero trust framework is becoming an industry standard. Zero trust makes great sense in cloud environments where users are by definition coming in from the outside. 
A system of context-aware permission granting along with IAM, least privilege access, creates a strong protection against bad guys accessing the cloud network. Fourth, monitoring. Install monitoring capabilities in the cloud infrastructure. With monitoring enabled, organizations can help to identify unauthorized activities. A logging and monitoring system will allow the security teams to quickly identify which individuals are making changes to the cloud environment, getting to the root of an issue faster. When, in, when an intruder gains access to the system and meddles with any of the settings or data, the logs will expose who is responsible and what kind of change has been made so that it can be acted upon quickly. So in summary, securing your cloud environment is not like securing your on-prem or private cloud platforms. There's more strategy, more planning that's necessary to anticipate additional complexities and different tooling required to address those complexities. If you want to continue the conversation around cybersecurity or any technology topics on this channel, feel free to reach out. My contact information is in the description of this video. If you got some value out of this video, I'd appreciate a like, a thumbs up, and thank you very much for doing that. And if you want to find your way back to this channel in the future, the best way of doing that is by hitting the subscribe button. That will put my videos in your feed and you can come back here at your convenience. Thanks very much for watching and I hope you have a great day.